Compatible or friendly numbers. Today will be our last day to introduce a new strategy for estimation. Compatible or friendly numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally. Usually these numbers are ones that you want to make as multiples of 10 or multiples of 5 because those ones are easy for us to add, subtract, multiply, or divide inside of our heads. For example, uh, the first number that we are going to be finding the sum for is going to be 78 and 3 tenths plus 23 and 4 tenths. I can easily make 78 and 3 tenths into 80. 78 is very close to 80 and it's also a multiple of 10. 80 is a multiple of 10. 23 and 4 tenths is easily made into 25. It's very close to 25 plus 25 is a multiple of 5. I can easily add 80 plus 25 mentally. Um, it is 105 is the answer. After I do this um, compatible numbers answer, I do want to go back and I want to review my actual answer with my two just to, just to check to make sure that my estimate is reasonable. And it is because the answer to 78 and 3 tenths plus 23 and 4 tenths is 101 and 7 tenths. Okay, now I would like you to partner up with a friend and I want you to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of front-end estimation, the advantages and disadvantages of rounding, and the advantages and disadvantages of compatible numbers. Um, I would like you to do this because I want you to think about this question. Which strategy do you believe would give the best estimate and why? While you're doing this discussion with your friend, and this should take about five minutes as you're writing down um, your thoughts, I want you to review your past two days that you have done with rounding and front end estimation. Um, after this, after those five minutes, you will be going and working out the four problems that you have been work that you did on the previous two days strategies. And at the end, I want you to compare which strategy gave the best estimate meaning what strategy was the closest to the actual answer. This is very important because you're going to be doing a similar task for your culminating assessment, meaning your end assessment that's going to show your teacher and you what you learned and what you still need to work on. So I'm going to quickly go through the last four slides um, and you're only to do those when you are done with your five-minute discussion with your partner.